Hey, 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 how's it going? Hope you are loving life. I know I am. I'm just standing here in my kitchen and I wanted to share a couple of things with you. Show you a few things in my kitchen. Yeah, yeah. My, my cleaver. My cleaver. Some knives. Every chef has to have some knives. It's a friend of mine's company. It's halite salt. It's pink salt. 300 million year old salt. Colloidal. Very large pink crystals. Really awesome. It's called halite. This is the exact same thing as pink salt. It's not not broken up, not crushed up. Looks kind of like quartz, huh? Some of them are clear and some of them are more pink. Pretty, pretty nice. You can soak these in water and the water will saturate the salt. And you can make brine or sole out of it. Google it and you find out more. This is Jerusalem artichoke syrup. It's made from a friend of mine's company, Omica, O-M-I-C-A. This is not raw, but it's very medicinal. It's quite low temperatures, but it is medicinal, and it, but it's not raw. Chia seeds, chia seeds, these are great. Really amazing to sprout or to just soak and use. They become gelatinous, just like flax seeds. And you can use them to make breads, crusts, crackers. And these are unique because you can soak them, let them become gelatinous. You can make tapioca pudding from them. It's another good salt. Actually, my friend Selena, this is salt from Portuguese, sea salt, very high quality as well. Let's see here. What else we got going on? I'm just gonna kind of showing you some some stuff. Of course, my cutting board, some yummy apples, Van some Madagascar vanilla powder from my friends Essential Living Foods. If you ever need any Essential Living Foods products, just let me know because I can get them for you. I can sell them to you. Love chipotle pepper. I do use spi dried spices. As I've stated before, I don't do 100% all, I don't do all of my recipes 100% raw living. There's yacon syrup. If you don't know about these, you can just Google them and find out lots more information about them, since I don't have lots of time. Some really amazing Peruvian olive oil. It's unfiltered, cold pressed, all raw. The lid went over there, oops. <laughs> the lid back on. I have different kinds of cold-pressed olive oil. Remember, olive oil, when it's cold-pressed, is raw. Cumin, onion, turmeric, red pepper, garam masala. Another type of, well, there's hemp oil. Cold-pressed hemp oil. So all cold-pressed oils are raw. Some agave nectar from my brothers and Sisters at Essential Living Foods. Most agave nectar is not raw. I found out this weekend. There's something else that I use that's not considered raw. Nutritional yeast. But nutritional yeast is awesome because you can use it and make more creamy, buttery type flavored stuff. Lakuma powder, also Peruvian. This is really good for desserts. Mmm, yay. Golden berries, dried golden berries. Gotta love gold, golden berries. I don't have much more time, but I did want to share some of my. There's my chef knife. This is a hundred and fifty dollar knife. There's my Cuisinart eleven eleven cup food processor. Right now, this is the only juicer that I have available to me. It's an Omega juicer. It's centrifugal. It's not a it's not anything nearly as nice or good as Green Star or Champion. 
champions not this is lower end of the homogenizing juicers green star is a twin gear so you can actually get it get the nutrients and, and the vitamins and minerals they stay a lot more intact with the green star now here's a vitamix see i have a 4500 i'm kind of in the stone age as far as raw chefs go but hey i'm doing okay i have access to other stuff too the sink <laughs> you know about the sink Here's my two dehydrators. I have the smaller 5-tray Excalibur. See how the it has a temperature gauge. And I keep my stuff at 105. Yes, 118 is the degrees where the, the maximum degree. So you don't want to go over 118. I like to keep them at 105. Here is, this is a sausage maker that I got from my brother, Rashid. He gave me an amazing discount for this. He did, he did his kale munchies in it. I do all kinds of yummy dried and dehydrated goods. Crackers, breads, nut loaves, pizza, kale chips. Mmm, yay, burgers, you know. All that dehydrated yummy stuff. So yeah, so this is my kitchen. I know I did a couple little videos in it. I'll be doing more. And other than that, I'm going to jump on my skateboard, ride over to Essential Living Foods, try to make some sales there. And other than that, it's a beautiful sunny blue sky. And I'm looking forward to this skateboard ride. I love the sun. I love to get as much sun. At least try as hard as you can to get, as, to get at least 30 days. Ha! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 30 days raw, that, that would be essential to really just try to do 30 days raw. But that's not what I was going to say. I was going to say, <laughs> try to at least get 30 minutes in the sun every day. And try to do about 15, start at like 2 minutes, but try to get 15 to 30 minutes of deep breathing as well. This will get your lymphatic system clean it out. It will get it moving. It will get it working better. And a lot of our... A lot of our problems are because our lymphatic system is not working properly. And, you know, alkalizing our body, getting our lymph lymphatic system, getting it flowing, sun, fresh air, deep breathing, important stuff. Swimming and yoga are other really good lymphatic exercises. So, that being said, I'm going to sign off now. I'm going to say, I love you. And, mmm. Love, love, love. All you need is love.